What's going on guys? Pre Raptor here. Hope you guys are having a an amazing day slash night so far. So this it's been a while since I made my uh, Tekken videos, so, uh, something related to Tekken news or anything related to Tekken in general. That's because I've been mainly uh, streaming on Twitch, so I've been doing my live streams like Tekken 7 or other gameplay. So if you guys want to follow me there, make sure to hit that link in the description and it will take you to my Twitch channel. Uh, so this video is regarding to the contrast which I've made to my other Tekken videos, for example the Tekken 7 Season 4 prediction. Uh, ever since I made that video, I asked you guys in the comments uh, what you guys think for yourself. What, what do you guys think about Season 4 happening? If, are you guys happy with it? Are you guys not happy with it? So, so many of you guys have commented on the video, giving your thoughts, giving your uh, personal opinions. I, I, I want to read out some of the comments that I have been uh, brought to my notice on this video. So basically, there's this one guy um, on, the, or some of the, some guys on the, uh, video that have commented and one of one of it was by one king t007 so basically he says that it feels like to me whoop, it feels like to me that Bamco are running out of ideas just based on the comments by harada saying that he did not expect tekken 7 to do so well giving the fans what they want is hard but work uh, hard work but it pays off i hope there will be they will be able to keep up the demand and deliver with season 4 Tekken 7 is a pretty old for a fighting game, so if they don't announce a season four, I don't think the content would be, uh, I don't think the content will be replayable content like new game mode or deeper customization, etc. I think it'll just have content that builds hype and dies down uh, fairly quickly, like new characters and stages, etc. The reason being is, I think that it, I think they want Tekken 7 to start decline to start to decline so that they can announce their next game. That's just my theory. So this is what One King T007 has to say about his opinion. So. Following up on this comment, I've, I agree. I agree with what he says. I 100% agree with what he says. Uh, since Tekken 7 is reaching at the end of its lifespan, and since they have announced a season 4, which could be the potential final season for Tekken 7 since, uh, until they announce their new game, for what? Tekken 7 has been out for like, what, 4 years? 3 years now? For 5 years, basically. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so yeah, uh, Tekken 7 Season 4 could be the last last uh, f Season 4 for Tekken and they will announce, they, they have to announce because since Michael Murray hinted that Season 4 and uh, Season 4 is about, it, it is, it's coming out for the uh, new Tekken World Tour announcement and since they already also announced the Tekken World Tour for this year, basically if you guys haven't seen that you might want to go out on the ben Bandai Namco channel and check out their live stream from yesterday on where they announced the tournaments are are happening in which countries and stuff like that so yeah that's what i think i think that season four could be the potential last season with legacy characters coming out not guest characters because my harada already said that he's not going to put any more guest characters since there's no point um yeah so guest characters and new st uh, sorry legacy characters and new stages would be a huge possibility like kunimitsu or june or uh, Jipachi, whatever to be coming out for this year and that could be the final season for Tekken 7. That could be the end of Tekken 7. And they would progress with Tekken 8. Uh, coming out in... <coughs> Tekken 8 coming out in... Whatever, whenever they want to come out. Or any other Tekken game. Either it might be Tekken X Street Fighter, Tekken 8. Or any other any, any other sorts that they want to go with. So, I, I, so here's what I think. I also think that they're going to reserve bringing in guest characters for the new Tekken game rather than just putting in, in uh, for the new Season 4 because it would be completely uh, pointless. Uh, people would buy the game, uh, buy the characters but and the characters would die down in their pop popularity base because and, and if, if they try to bring back these characters in Tekken 8 there would be no, not much point because they've already exhausted their resources in Tekken 7 which would completely destroy the... What, what's the word for it? Uh, there's a word for it. I can't. I can't. <laughs> can't remember on the top of my head. Uh, yeah, it it it, it would dis destroy the sales or whatever for Tekken 8. So they they will actually keep it there for the new game. Um, that's what I think. That's what I think on this this matter. And um, if you guys want me, if you guys want me to read out more comments in the future like this, let's just just send me or uh, just send me your thoughts. Tell me your opinions, and I will make make a list and I will answer as much as. Tekken 7 related questions as you guys want me to answer uh, just make sure to comment on the video like and subscribe and I will keep putting out content like this give me new ideas as well give me new I new content ideas uh, for the YouTube channel and I will definitely make it possible if I can to the best of my capabilities so yeah once again if you guys are, ha are not following me on my twitch make sure to follow me there that's where you can live interact interact with me live 
and talk to any talk to me and about any tech related stuff and i will definitely answer them and i'll help i'll give you some tips on tech and stuff and if i can and yeah that's basically it guys so if you guys have any any more questions as i said leave them in the question uh, comments down below and i will answer them in my next video that being said you guys are awesome stay safe peace Legends never die when the